again. We seem to be immersed in a week where so many people are simply angry. But it is Holy Week, and I think we need a bit of show and tell and a few stories of kindness to get us thinking about all the goodness out there and perhaps give you an idea or two on how you can spread a little light and love in your small quarter of the universe. Over the past year, three young women ranging in age from their mid-twenties to their mid-thirties have come to my attention for how they have used their artistic abilities to be helpful and make the world a better place. About a year ago, before masks were everywhere, I noticed that a fellow entertainer had come up with a mask that had her logo on it. Would you believe that you could not find such a thing a year ago? When I asked her about it, in the short week between her college graduation and her first grown-up job, she whipped up enough logo masks, enough logo masks, <laughs> for my husband and I to take on tour. She just figured it out, made some adjustments, and even delivered them in three sizes. A young mother who suddenly found herself homeschooling while she herself was trying to attend college online took it upon herself to send a little comfort to others in the form of crocheted afghans. A stitch here and a stitch there of a remarkably simple pattern. And over the course of nine months, 16 people were delighted to wrap themselves in the warmth of her love. Her blankets have made it from Oregon to Colorado and Texas, and she's still at it, hugging the world one blanket at a time. Perhaps my favorite of all is a young woman who paints kindness rocks and leaves them all around her town for others to find. These beautiful rocks offer not only unexpected joy, but a bit of inspiration as she adds a favorite Bible verse or inspirational saying. These became so popular that her friends encouraged her to open an Etsy page, and now she is shining her love and light even further as more people discover her rock-solid mission of art imitating nature to bring a little comfort and joy and delight and surprise to others. Different talents, ideas that these ladies may never have thought of if they had not been stuck at home for a year. Products that make a difference to others. What are you good at? It doesn't take much, and it doesn't have to be something you can hold in your hands. I'm currently working on memorizing the names of everyone we meet on our daily walk so I can greet them by name the next time we see them out in their yards. Names are important, and it is a gift to be called by your name. It makes other people happy. Perhaps, if we focus on making each other happy and sharing our gifts and talents, it will become the new national habit. I think it's a good one. If you're interested in your own happiness rock, check out Kate's Etsy page. It's at etsy.com forward slash shop, forward slash kindness by Kate, K-A-T-E. My name is the Reverend Kathy Crosby, and there you have it, short and sweet.